Yo, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode featuring the Comic Jabroni. In today's video, I want to do an Indiegogo independent comic book spotlight. I was recently emailed by a gentleman that was that had started an Indiegogo campaign. So if you don't know what Indiegogo is, it's kind of like a crowdsourcing, crowdfunding website. You put a project on there and you push it out to the public and hope that the public wants what you are trying to sell and they fund your project. I was emailed by a gentleman named Adam Lawson and Adam Lawson, he has created a comic book and it is called The Eighth. And he said, hey, you know, Edwin, I would love for you just to check the comic book out, review it, try to, you know, if you can put it on your YouTube page and push it out to the public. And I read it yesterday and absolutely fell in love with it. So in this Indiegogo spotlight for independent creators and, and, and comic books, I want to show you the Indiegogo page. I wanna show you a video that's on that so you kinda of get an understanding of what's going on in this comic book. I'll tell you my feelings on it. And again, I was sent a review copy of this, but it's not the whole thing I was sent. I was just sent the first chapter of this book. but. I thought it was an amazing story and I thought the artwork was great. So I'm going to show you the artwork. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I know of the story and then kind of show you like how much it is because there are only, as of this video, there are only three days left to back this. Now, I will say that it has been fully backed so you don't have to worry about uh, putting money down and maybe it's not going to get backed and you won't get anything out of it except your money back. This one has been back, but there are stretch goals that we can reach to get better, better swag, guys. So I'm going to jump on over to the Indiegogo page. I'll be right back. Victory. Okay, so as you can see, right above me, I have the cover, the first cover of this comic, The Eighth. Now, the first thing that jumped out to me when I saw it was, this looks like Venom, right? That that hand with the, with the symbiote. There's blood on there. I, just from the cover, I thought, oh boy, this is going to be amazing. But if you look over to my right, right, your left, <laughs> uh, you can see this is the Indiegogo page. Funding the 8th Comics Ancient Sumerian Armor Transforms a Math Genius into a Doom Bringer. But there is just so much more. With that one sentence, you get just a sliver of what is going on in this comic. And as you can tell, like I said, it has been backed already. There is twenty-three over $23,000 already put into this with 300 backers. And they had a fixed goal of 17500 So, boom, already backed. If you want to put money into this, you are going to get a finished product three days left guys so i highly suggest jumping on this so what i'm going to do is there is a video right here we're going to play the video we're going to watch the video together so you kind of get an understanding of what's going on what's cool about this video is it's actually panels from the first page but they're kind of animated i thought that was amazing so let me get it set up we're going to watch the video and i'll be right back all right guys i apologize I tried to get this to run on the full screen, but it would not. I'm going to still play it. And if you, you know, if you're into this, definitely go check out the video on Indiegogo. But we're going to play it right now. Here we go. According to my math teacher, I'm the smartest kid she's ever met. I solved the millennium math problem. But nothing changed. My brother still hung himself. My mother's still depressed. The kids at school are still horrifying to each other. But what if there was a way I could fix all that? What if I could take this broken world and reassemble it? And even if the world didn't want to, I would make it change. Make it see things differently. The only problem is that sometimes the world pushes back and makes you do things. Terrible, terrible things.
So, yo, goosebumps from that trailer. Guys, that gives you just a little bit of insight into what this is. This kid, he is, like he said, a math genius. And this symbiote that he finds, it's like this rock that envelops his hand. And through his knowledge of math, right, he's imagining, he, he knows all these crazy equations. Th using these equations, he's able to kind of transform this symbiote. And he... And it, and it goes from his arm and he, in some panels, he has it up on his face and he puts it on his body and he thinks to himself, there's got to be more of this out there. But he's also a kid that wants to do good. He wants to stop bullies at his school and he wants to just make the world better. So he starts using this symbiote and these powers that he has to fix things that he sees that are problems. And I, in my opinion, I just absolutely enjoyed reading this. The artwork was fantastic. I'm going to show you some of those panels. Here you go, right here. I think the artwork just really brings the story out. It is great, great stuff. Look at this one right here. This is one of the first pages in the book. And the guy is down on the floor. He's trying to get away. And his girlfriend, friend who lives with him, she's slicing the throat of this guy. I mean, it's action I wouldn't say action packed, but there is a lot of action. There's a lot of fight scenes in there, but there's a lot of drama too. And it's it's pretty dark in some spots. You know, like he said, his his brother, you know, had uh, committed suicide and his mother's depressed and he's living in this little crap town, you know, where nobody really gets away, but he wants to do better. And it's such a great, great story. Just showing you some of the some of the panels in the first, this is the first, that one, not so much. That's a new one to me. So I'm going to scroll down. We're going to talk about how much this is, because as you can tell right here, the perks on the left side, on the right side, hardcover and the t-shirts, you're going to get a hard cover of the book and you're going to get a t-shirt. That's a hundred bucks. I'll tell you the truth. What I did was just go with the $25 monthly digital issue. So as you can tell right there, there are five issues that are going to come out. Oh, the entire eight issue digital series. So monthly, you will get an email with the newest issue plus all the issues behind it. So if you missed out on one, boom, you have the email and you can just go and read it over again. That's really awesome. But if you want to go big, go big or go home, right? You can do the $55 hardcover edition. So you're going to get a hardcover of this book, like a trade paperback, and you're going to get the digital versions as well. Guys, I believe, I really do believe that Adam Lawson and Jordan Evers, who is the artist, did a fantastic job. Adam Lawson, I want to say thank you so much for reaching out to me to be able to review this. Guys, I'm a fan of this book and I want to do more of these videos where I just go on Indiegogo and look up, um, you know, independent comics that need backing, right? If it's something that I enjoy, I'm going to push it out to you guys so that maybe you can read it, you can back it, and we can get more of these independent comics out there. Let me know down in the comments below, is this a book that you feel you'd want to back? Uh, also, are there other Indiegogo independent comics that I should be reviewing? If you are a content creator, if you're a comic creator, a writer, an artist, and you have a book that you want me to review and push it out to my uh, my YouTube subscribers, let me know. Send me an email for this Indiegogo right here. Comic Jabroni has backed it. I'm going to put the link in the description below so you can go to the Indiegogo website and back it yourself, guys. But hey, the 8th. Right, This is an awesome, awesome story just from the first trade that I read. And I cannot wait to read the next seven to see how much further is this kid going to go with the symbiote on his hand. It does all sorts of crazy stuff. Kind of what you think with Venom and, and uh, Carnage. It's kind of what he's doing with this. But instead of it being a slime, it's more of a rock. Uh, awesome stuff. Absolutely loved it. As you can tell, 200 pages. I only read 33 I cannot wait to read the other 170 pages of this story. But hey guys, I'm Edwin the Comic Jabroni. Thanks so much for watching. Again, let me know, are there other indie comics that I should be checking out on Indiegogo or any of the other crowdfunding websites? I'm always down to uh, fund and back independent comic creators. Those are some of the best stories that are out there going today. But again, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Check the other videos out on my channel. Take it easy.
It's over 9,000! 